King James Bible, the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 29. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captives, and to the priests, and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. After that, Jeconiah the king and the queen and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem, and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elash, Elasha, sorry, the son of Daphan, and Jemariah the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah king of Judah sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye have caused to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. <clears throat> For thus saith the Lord, that, that after seventy years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and my good word toward you, causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be fond of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I cause you to be carried away captive, because ye have said, The Lord hath raised up his prophets in Babylon. Know that thus saith the Lord of the, the Lord of the King that sitteth upon the throne of David, and of all the people that dwelleth in this city, and all your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword of the famine and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, and with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed and all, to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among the nations whither I have driven them. Because they have not hearkened to my word, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them. But ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Kolaiah, and of Zedekiah, the son of Masai, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall slay them before your eyes. And of them shall, and of them shall be taken up a curse, by all the captivity of Judah which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab, who the king of Babylon roasted in the fire, because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not commanded them. Even I know, and I am a witness, saith the Lord. Thus shalt thou also speak to Shemiah and the Nehalamite, saying, <clears throat> Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Because thou hast sent letters in, my, in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah the son of Masaiah, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord had made thee priest in the stead of Jehoiada, the priest, that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord. 
for every man that is mad and maketh himself a prophet, that thou shouldest put him in prison and in the stocks. Now therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Anathoth, which maketh himself a prophet to you? For therefore he sent unto us in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long. Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Send all of them of the captivity, send to all of them of the captivity, saying, Thus saith the Lord concerning Shemaiah the Nelamite, and because because that Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie, therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah the Nelamite and his seed. He shall not have a man to dwell among his people. Neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, saith the Lord, because he hath taught rebellion against the Lord. Chapter 30 <clears throat> The word of the Lord, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave them, gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with a child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break this yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I have will raise up unto, the, unto them. Therefore fear, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, will I not make a full end of thee? But I will correct thee in measure, and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus saith the Lord, Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy with the chastisement of a cruel one, with the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Why criest thou in thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. Therefore all thy that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall, be, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. <clears throat> for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh afar. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the matter thereof. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me, saith 